everyone greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on HP UFT and today we will be looking at another content of uh, UFT the agenda for today is about uh, adding steps or script without recording so in a previous tutorial if we, we have seen that how exactly a script can be recorded and can be replayed back so today we will see the different ways by which uh, you can add uh, script without recording and there are several ways of it as you can see right here we can add the script without uh, uh, recording by different ways and the first of that is your keyword view which helps you to add steps using a navigational panel or a tabular form where you can insert the step and these all do not require any kind of recording during the session uh, the another one is the step generator step generator is another way of uh, inserting a step and uh, generally these options are the one which you really don't have to be aware of VB script and uh, it really helps you to learn the VB script or prepare the script without getting stuck with the language altogether and the third one is obviously your object repository which is another way of inserting your script without having the knowledge of VB script but the fourth one is the only way where you need to be familiar with VB script which is called as editor view so editor view is the one where you need to type in your script there is no other go by which you can just uh, take a help and minimize your efforts towards preparing the script but the other three options like step generator keyword view and object repository can uh, minimize your effort towards preparing the script uh, without uh, having a good knowledge of VB script. So basic knowledge of VB script could be really helpful, but at this point of time, we do not say that you really need to have any kind of understanding of VB script. But as you get started with the UFT, uh, the very first thing is the instruction, what do you give to the tool, and the language becomes really important. So anyways, we are getting started with the tutorial. So as we go on with uh, different series and different tutorials here, you will understand VB script as well. So uh, let's get started with the content in more detail. So let's get started here. The very first thing to utilize these options uh, is uh, to uh, add up the objects in the repository and uh, repository must have those objects with respect to your application, what we would be trying to uh, work with when we try writing our scripts. Uh, it's just a good practice to add the objects in the repository because it helps you with the autocomplete and avoids the human error when you work with the preparation of your script without recording. Because generally during recording, it automatically interacts with the application and becomes easy and simple for the, uh, you know, you have to understand and capture the properties but when you're working offline if you write yourself without any kind of uh, suggestions or not then obviously it becomes a more difficult and requires uh, a lot of effort to prepare your script so the first thing is obviously to add the objects in the repository we have the objects here uh, we'll be having another tutorial to understand more on the object repositories like uh, what are the different types of repositories and how we can really add and manage the objects in the repository so the very first thing is obviously to understand the keyword view so all you have to do is uh, come back to view and uh, right now we have just switched to uh, keyword view so it is editor and when you are here in the editor view, you can get keyword view. We also have a shortcut on the toolbar where you can see there's a toggle button. If you click once, you are in editor view, click it again, you are in keyword and so on. So generally the keyword view is a tabular form of your script, which makes it more user friendly and uh, makes it more easy to understand the script, what is being prepared. And also if in case any script is already prepared, it helps you to understand that script easily. So let's see how we can prepare a script. So I'm going to prepare for this application, which is a general sample application. It comes by default with uh, UFT. So this application is built uh, on the basis of booking a flight like this application can allow you to do some dummy bookings on the flight and uh, really understand how UFT works. So we will be making use of this application here where we'll be trying on this particular page which is the login page and working with the username, entering the password and clicking on the OK button. So let's see what we have got and what steps need to be followed. Just uh, you have to click on the new step here and drop down and select the parent object. 
So HP map flight sample application is the parent dialog object which you can see in the application here having a title on the top which says that it is the main parent object and even from the repository you can really understand like when you look at the object repository it says that this is the parent object where you start with and then the other child objects so uh, once the parent object is selected you can again come down to select the new step and here you can see there's the child objects are listed automatically which are under the my flight application parent so uh, the next object for me is the uh, agent name which is to obviously understand uh, the enter the value in the uh, agent name which is the username field and uh, the operation automatically selected here because considering that you are completely new to programming and you don't know anything about it so you didn't really have to worry about which method will be applicable for such type of object and here you just have to uh, click on this and enter the uh, value to be passed so say for here in this application the username is John and imagine that uh, you are being so new to it that you don't even know that there are double quotes required for the value so you can just uh, leave it and click outside and you can see that the value John has already taken the double quotes so that's what we generally call the user friendliness of a uh, tool where the navigation and the user interface allows you to minimize your human errors as well as make your job easier to start learning something continuing further we need one more thing which is uh, the password and the password is here which is again a edit box and it requires a value to be entered and the password here is HP so just click on that again and you are here so clicking on the last step what we need to generate is the OK button clicking on this and you're done because for a click there is no value required so it's just a, a ordinary click so if you come back to editor view now you would see that your script has been prepared and it is uh, uh, you know easy to understand and easy to prepare compared to writing it directly as for a beginner so let's quickly run this and see if it is applicable and working fine All right, so you see that that's just absolutely working fine. It is able to log in and there's a result also popped up and which says that all the steps have been performed completely. So every step has been successfully done. So the next thing what we'll be looking at is how to add the steps uh, using step generator. So the same uh, test, we can just try that. The step generator options navigation is from design menu and you can quickly look at this last option second last option which is step generator and here the similar thing happens but you just have to make sure that you are having a different option altogether because that is a keyword view this is a step generator but it will have a different interface so uh, there are some filter criteria depending on the add-in what you import so we have important certain add-ins uh, while we are launching the test so you know about the add-ins now from the previous tutorial if not you can uh, really go back and visit that so here we have got test objects to be selected and uh, then you have got your parent object which you start up with so obviously you have to hit uh, an activate option to the parent object to uh, get focused on it and just say okay but before you say OK here, you can also check this box if you continuously want to add or insert steps. So you just have to select this so that you don't have to open step generator every time you insert a step. So I click here and you can see there's a step already added. Then I need to get into the child objects of this. Now obviously for that you need to click on the hand button to get or change the hierarchy of the option. So here I'm selecting agent name which is the username and uh, as you see that the rest of the script at the bottom is uh, already created except the value because value is a user defined input and you need to specify it so for that you need to come to the value section here and just mention John now as you again see that it is not mandatory to insert the double quotes because the syntax already includes the double quotes here which is fine so just click on insert and we have got the script uh, entered here already and the next one would be obviously the password so continuing the same the password is HP and say insert added 
and the last one is clicking on the OK button and does not require any value as it is a click. If required, you can provide the coordinates to identify the button that we will see later and say insert. Once we are done with all the necessary steps to be inserted, you can just close and you see the script is generated for you. Now let's quickly run this, but for that, you need to give him the login page where the script basically starts from. So I'm going again the base page that is login page to run the script. All right, so this also works fine. So now we have understood how to generate script and prepare script with help of step generator. Now the last thing what we will see is obviously with the uh, resources that is uh, object repository, how to prepare script without having the knowledge of VB script using some of the options like uh, step generator, uh, step uh, generator, uh, keyword view and the object repository. Where object repository is the most simplest way to make use of to prepare your script is just about drag and dropping the objects here. Subjected, you know the hierarchy of the objects, you know the name of it and the class. So the first thing is obviously about the parent, you just drag and drop it. So you can see the uh, you know script being generated. And uh, when the next one is agent name, so it is inserted, password, drag and drop, and OK button drag and drop so now you saw that this is what this was the most simplest way and easiest way to prepare the script compared to the other two options of keyword view and step generator but generally we uh, have these good options as well to understand how do you prepare the script but here the value has to be entered later after you have already imported all the steps from the repository so on the other two options we can insert the values then and there but for object repository, as you're dragging and dropping and we do not have any uh, value specific, uh, specified there, you generally come back to the script and then you add yourself it manually. So this was the third way. Let's quickly run this and make sure that the application is reset because it always starts from the beginning. So that also works fine. Now, the next thing, and the last thing in this tutorial is to understand how do you insert script using the editor view directly without using the other three options like taking help of any kind of interface and we directly write it. So obviously you can see the effort required, but it can also be uh, helped with a lot of suggestions from UFT and autocomplete option. Autocomplete options because you have the objects in the repository, it will assist you. So if you see, yeah, I just uh, start with the object name. Remember that VB script is not case sensitive, but the object names are case sensitive. So WPF window, open the bracket. As soon as I open the bracket, it takes the entire name of the object because it detects from the repository that I have a parent object of this class in my memory. So obviously you are talking about this. Dot WPF edit. So you will get the suggestions for the class. You will get the autocomplete option for these things, the objects which we are using, and then dot set so all you need to be aware of is the method to be used at that point of time then entering the value but the other three ways you don't really have to uh, you know understand the method to be used for the different type of objects it will automatically assist you with that whereas when you talk about vb script writing directly in the edit review you have to be uh, aware of the methods there because we consider it as export export view where you know that what you're trying to write so again, the next line is WPF edit. And uh, this time it's the next object password dot set. And the password is HP. The next line is WPF window. So we, uh, if, if we want to accumulate the similar objects again and again, we do have different ways to deal with it to minimize our effort. And that we will see in the upcoming tutorial. We call it as with statement, which can help you to minimize your efforts on repeating the same object again and again. So let's say OK and dot click. So we are done. So this is also one of the easiest way to do it. Subjected, you have the objects in the repository. But uh, the question which might come in, in your mind at this point of time is that it's not mandatory that we will have the objects always uh, with us before we prepare the script. 
So how do we how do we really work on these kind of things? Because all these four options becomes null and void if we don't have the object. So yes, that's absolutely correct. But at some point of time, we do have an option to create our own objects in UFT and prepare our script. And there is an easier way to deal with updating the properties when you get the application. So we will see that in the upcoming tutorials. So keep an eye on the you know series having the tutorials coming up. Let's quickly run this, but before that, reset your application. It's really important if you are running the partial set of instruction without having a start and an end point same. So that works fine. So today's tutorial, we have understood about the four different ways by which you can add script or prepare your script without recording. And for that, there's only one common thing to be kept in mind or considered as a prerequisite is to uh, have the objects in the repository before you can start writing, which helps you to detect the object, minimize your efforts in preparing the script, also to avoid human errors in writing spelling mistakes or giving a wrong name to anything. So that would be the uh, only thing to be taken care. Uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos, tutorials, and uh, in case you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to it because we'll be having a lot of things to explore in UFT and more interesting things are coming up. You can expect uh, you know, a lot of basic things uh, in the initial series and then we'll be moving to the advanced options. So stay tuned for uh, latest updates on this and thanks for watching team. Happy learning. This is all for now. We have more videos coming up on the upcoming tutorials and also on the upcoming chapters of this uh, tutorial. So stay tuned for more videos. Do hit the bell icon for getting notified about the latest videos. And in case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe as early as possible because we'll be having more videos about technologies and testing coming up back after this, right after this. So uh, stay tuned and uh, Till then, enjoy learning, happy learning, take care.